ko putau aki te maunga, ko rangi taiki nui a tia te awa, ko ngā kauroa te whenua, ko ngā tātua te waka, ko ngā tia wa te iwi, ko tēnei ingoa, ko ngā kauroa. A ia huke mai i tō mātau tipuna toroa, ko te rā ko te rangatira tēnei, ko te waka nei o mā tātua. Mai mau ke, ki rarotonga, ka tau mai ki ao te aroa e takotoa ke nei. Ki ona whakaaro, rita tangu te ahua tēnei whenua, ara ki ngā mau tere, me ngā whenua o Hawaii ki ka whakaingoa tia e toroa tēnei pāmu ko ngā kauroa. Ngā kauroa farm is made up of 186 hectares, 134 hectares is owned by Ngāti Awa and 52 hectares is neighbouring lease land. We run 615 cows, twice a day milking through a 40 a side herring bone shed. We have uh, two full-time staff as well as one Ngāti Awa kere. When we first started at Ngākauroa, we found that the grass was struggling to grow over 2400 kgs of dry matter a hectare. So we dug a few holes and found that there was a compaction layer underneath called a pan. So we went through with an aerator and now we have no problem of growing grass over 3000 kgs of dry matter. In 2008, uh, Ngātiawa Group Holdings uh, made their first significant purchase since settlement with the Crown in 2005 and that was the purchase of uh, Ngākauroa Farm as we know it today. It was also about how do we include the various Ngātiawa land trusts in the transaction in order to establish a long-term sustainable dairy farming platform. We're only a small trust and it's like bringing all of us together as Ngātiawa. You've got Rangataiki, Whakatāne, and uh, that we haven't had that for years working together. In 1866, Ngātiawa had 287,000 hectares taken under confiscation. This area here was part of that whenua. Ngātiawa's vision in Moimoia to retain our lands, get back our lands, a lot of that uh, whakaro is in this farm. A few years back, as we purchased our own herd, we put so much capital into purchasing the farm, we know that all the capital sits in buying the actual whenua. By allowing us to purchase the, the cows, our herd itself, which is a little bit more capital injection, it allowed us to get up to 79% of that Fonterra check. And now because of that, we've moved from a strategy of 50-50 to 79 and 21, which works for us and it works for our farm manager as well. The herd was a no-brainer really in terms of, uh, we felt that this operation was going to maximise returns for everybody involved. Uh, really by having uh, the own herd on and full control. Our motto is happy staff, creates happy cows, which of course leads on to a good farm environment. We like to have a good laugh. Herd manager Richmond, Jess our farmhand and Ma Tangirea is the, our Ngāti Awa cadet. We need them to have a good attitude and want to develop and grow in the dairy farming industry because as we all know this ain't just a job. It's a lifestyle. So we've lifted the production from 330 milk solids a cow up to 385 and, and this year plus uh, we're looking at more like 420. It's great to be a finalist in the Ahu Whenua Trophy. I can't wait, it can open up heaps of opportunity. Yeah, it's awesome. I te taho tōku papa no kunei no Ngāti Awa. My dreams for the future, learn some more and just get more experience and to manage and run the farm for the iwi. I enjoy working with the animals, being outdoors and learning new things. The board of Ngāti Awa Group Holdings Limited has set themselves some really bold goals. They've got a growth strategy which is aggressive, outlined over the next five years, which outlines where they're going to participate in the industry and uh, what's going to be achieved. Ngākauroa is a uh, joint venture with multiple shareholders and the engagement of those shareholders is really strong. They're currently performing on a financial terms well above um, the benchmark farms and they're aiming to take that further and looking to be in the top 10% of New Zealand industry. Ngākauroa Farm is an attractive property delivering really high levels of productivity. It was unique to see an environment specialist sitting on the farm board. 
It shows the iwi's focus on environmental activity and the protection of the whenua.